Hello and good morning. I don't want to waste your time, so, but I do want to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you would, please, because it takes a lot of work to make these videos. <clears throat> and YouTube etiquette is you know, when I watch somebody else's channel, I watch the videos all the way to the end. I give my thumbs up. And I watch the commercials because I know they work hard on their channel. And some people, that's how they make a living. So they need the money. But anyway, this is my Rad Wagon from Rad Power Bikes. It's a big bike, and it uses a 48-volt battery, and I charge it with my new folding solar panel from where? <coughs> Drum roll. <laughs> Harbor Freight. <laughs> Uh, I think they're out of them right now, but they may have them in your area. <clears throat> and if they do have them in your area, for the price, it's not a bad deal. They are good panels. They put out a lot of voltage. 13 watts and they're a lot of fun because you can charge a lot of things with them. I did have to order an adapter and I'm going to show you in the video the adapter that I had to order to go with my 48 volt battery and uh, I just want to share with you my experience because my brother had an electric bicycle and he said he charged his with solar I didn't even think about charging it with solar, so I researched it, and this is what I came up with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you at the end. Something I forgot to say in my video is if you have a question or a comment, put it down below. Make your comments. I appreciate comments. And if I can find the links to the products that I'm using, I will put those in the description so you can click on them and check them out. But if I can't find it, like if they don't have any more of these uh, solar panels, I won't put a link down there. But if I can find a link to one, I will put it down there. So I'm outside today and I'm working on charging my, my solar bike with <laughs> I'm outside today working on my rad power bike to see how I can charge it with solar. So if you're out on the road and you don't have nowhere to plug it in, what you can have to, to charge it with. So when I ordered, or I didn't order, I tried to order it, but I ended up going to the store and buying a solar panel, a folding solar panel. It comes with this, and I'm going to show you the solar panel in a minute. But I had to order another package of stuff to get this little adapter that fits my 48 volt battery. So it goes on here like this, and you plug it in here like that. Now let's see how many volts I have with my battery here. I'm going to put this on, on AC, 300 AC. I don't do nothing, I'm just putting it up there so I can see it. And then I put the, the positive in the positive, and then the negative on the negative, and that says 24 volts. But in all actuality, that's supposed to be a 48 volt battery. So now, let me get my folding solar panel and bring it out here and show it to you and see how it works. So on your electric bicycle, if you have one like this or anything, you could 
You can get you a solar panel and put it right there on the running board and strap it down. I prefer a carrying case. I haven't found one yet, but I'm going to get one. And then you get out riding around and you're taking a break somewhere. And then you just take, the, take it out of the case and hook it up to your battery. Just like this. And you take the cable and you plug it in and you're charging. Now Ben, that's a 48 volt system. Hope you can see all that. But well, Ben, that's a 48 volt system. Down here on the bottom, you can see where it says 12 and 24. Now what I found out is each panel is 12 volts. So right now it's putting out 24 volts into that battery. But if I switch that switch over to 24 volts, it's actually charging 48. So I just switched it over. Now it's charging 48 volts. Oh, you want to see that, okay? Let me see. Unplug it. See what my little test meter here says. I'll put the positive in the positive. If I can get it to stay. See what it's putting out here. It's not easy to do with just one pair of hands. So can you see that? Set so panel is putting out 43 volts. 43 volts. Okay. And that's from Harbor Freight and they didn't have any more. I bought the only one they had. But I think you can order it from Harbor Freight or you can just go around to the stores and see if they got them. Let's plug this back in here. And now with the sun on that. <laughs> now with the sun on that, if I get my shadow off of it, you're getting 48 volts to the battery on your electric bicycle, whether it's a rad wagon or a rad power bike or whatever it is. Let's go over here and check out the battery and see, see if I can see what it's doing here. If you push that button right there, well, it has, has three greens and a red one that's blinking, which is, that's pretty much the way it always is. I think the red one blinking means it's charging. Yeah, so, so that's it. If you're worried about the electric cars and running out of juice, same thing with a bicycle. If you have an electric bicycle, There you go. If you have an electric bicycle and you're out on the road and you don't have power nowhere, you can have one of these panels. And that panel cost me $59 plus tax at Harbor Freight. You have to look around, but they got them. It works fantastic. And I gotta say, I'm really surprised.
so give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so this is how you charge your electric bike out on the road if you don't have no power you guys have a great day and i'll have another video for you soon Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for staying to the end for those of you who did. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And I'll have another video for you soon. I'm going to build a bigger solar array and get me uh, some equipment to try to power the refrigerator and some lights in the house. So when the power goes out, because it goes out regularly in Florida now, and we need power to keep our food fresh so i'm gonna build a small system it's not a small it's not gonna be a small system but i'll explain all that to you in a future video but you don't have to spend twenty thirty thousand dollars to have a little backup system to charge to, to keep your refrigerator going and some lights in the house so when the power goes out uh, you have power till the batteries run out or to the sun stop shining so if the sun's not shining the batteries aren't charging that's the main two things you got to remember <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching this is harold i'm out of here bye, -bye.